Hello, and thanks for tuning into this video, where I'll show you how to install and launch SAP HANA Express Edition using the VM installation method. Before you begin, make sure your laptop meets the system requirements. You need JRE8 or later to run the download manager. You need 16 gig of RAM, 120 gig of hard drive space, a two core processor, and if you have an Intel chipset, you need Intel virtualization set in your BIOS. As far as the operating system goes, I'm going to be installing a VM image, so my laptop OS is really not an issue. You need a hypervisor for controlling the VM image. Express Edition has been tested on VMware Player, VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion, and VirtualBox. In this video, I'm using VMware Player. Now that you've met the prerequisites, it's time to register. Go to this link. Fill out the registration form and click the register button. The registration success page displays. You'll also receive a confirmation email. At the bottom of the page, select the download manager that matches your operating system, Linux, Windows, or other. I have a Windows laptop, so I click Windows. Save the file to your laptop and open it. The download manager appears. From the image pull-down, select Virtual Machine. In the Packages area, you have a choice of two different VM images. You can download a server-only VM image, or the server plus applications. The applications include XS Advanced and Web IDE. I'm choosing the server-only image. Notice how the Getting Started tutorial is selected for download automatically. If you're using HANA Express in English or German, you can disregard the Text Analysis Files package. Those files are only needed in non-English and non-German installations, and then only if you want to use HANA's Text Analysis feature. Wait a moment for the hxe.ova file to download to your laptop. When the download finishes, start your hypervisor and import the OVA. In VMware Player, the command is open a virtual machine, open, import. Importing takes approximately three minutes. The VM is now ready to start. In VMware Player, click the play button to power on the VM. At the login prompt, enter hxeadm. For password, enter the temporary password hxehana1. hxeh are uppercase, ana are lowercase, and then the number one. For current Unix password, enter the temporary password again, hxehana1. For new password, enter a strong, complex password with at least eight characters. For retype new password, enter the strong password again. To test your installation, enter HDB info, a list of services displays. My server-only image without applications shows four services, HDB name server, HDB compile server, HDB preprocessor, and HDB web dispatcher. If you installed the server plus applications, more services will show. If none of the four services shown here are running, restart HANA Express by entering HDB stop and then HDB start. And that's it. You've successfully downloaded SAP HANA Express Edition, installed it, changed the password, started it, and tested it. So what are the next steps? First, change the password of the system user. From the command prompt, enter this command. Then follow the prompts to change the password. This secures your system. If you installed the server plus options, change the passwords for all XSA users. If you installed the server only, you don't have XSA, so you can disregard this step. From the command prompt, enter these commands one at a time and follow the instructions when prompted. Next, go to the HANA Express Edition site on the SAP Developer Center. Here you can view other videos, read hands-on tutorials, read how-tos and other information. Next, you'll want to apply the HXE license so your installation doesn't expire after the default grace period. And then you'll want to secure your system. Instructions for both the HXE license and applying security are both found in the Getting Started tutorial. You can find the tutorial on the website and also on your machine. You downloaded the Getting Started tutorial in PDF format when you downloaded the OVA file. Thank you for watching this video.